This is a video about which armies in Warhammer Age of Sigma are very strong in shooting, especially for people who want to explore Age of Sigma coming from Warhammer 40k or who are new to the game. Hello, this is Chris speaking from 60 Goblins in One Brush. And a few weeks ago, someone asked me to do a couple of introductory videos for people who want to explore Age of Sigma who before have been playing Warhammer 40k. And of course these kinds of videos would be interesting for everyone who starts the game for any reason. So I think this is an excellent idea so this will be the first video for 40k players and other beginners to Warhammer Age of Sigma. The new rules, the 2020 rules of Age of Sigma and Warhammer 40k are so similar that the transition from one game to the other has never been easier. I'm mainly an Age of Sigma player, but I know Warhammer 40k as well, where I am mostly playing Necrons and Tyranids. There are even four armies which are exactly the same in both games. The four demon armies, demons of Slanesh, demons of Korn, demons of Zinj, and demons of Nurgle. So you wouldn't even have to buy any new models. In Warhammer 40k shooting is very very important. It's a very major important part of the game. Well this was not so much the case in Age of Sigma, but is now. Is now with the new rules. There are some very, very powerful shooting armies. The most powerful shooting army right now is probably Zinch. If you play Flamers of Zinch with Eternal Conflagration, they're very, very powerful. You will just barbecue your enemies before they get to you. They're even a bit overpowered. Most probably. I think so. They are overpowered. Korn and Nurgle are not shooting armies, but... Um, Slanish could become one now. Slanish will have archers soon. Archers on foot and archers on horsey demons. So this may become a strong shooting army. Who knows? We will know in a few weeks. The second of the three strongest shooting armies are Caradron Overlords. Those are dwarves who fly airships with a magic substance called Ether Gold. So this might be the perfect army for a 40k player exploring Age of Sigma because it's so very similar. You even have ships. They are not spaceships, but airships. But still, they can also shoot over very large distances and it's very similar to play. You can even disengage in a battle and fly away unless your enemy also has flying units. And you can fly high, which means you can fly up and then land anywhere else on the battlefield. So it's very mobile. It can shoot very well. It's very mobile. The only trouble is that they're really crappy in melee. And the third of the most shooty armies of the game are the Cities of Sigma. The name is program here. All kinds of followers of the main god of this game, the god of order, Sigma. Humans, elves, dwarves, which are living in cities protected by Sigma, are part of this battle tome. So if you are, for example, an Astra Militarum fan, this might be for you, because this is the old style army, basically the old Warhammer Fantasy army, with medieval looking human beings which is not everyone's cup of tea, but the rules are really great. So they're very strong shooters, hand gunners, for example. You can buff them easily with your generals. You need a lot of command points, but otherwise they're great. And they have weird Sigma right constructions, contraptions like the Celestial Hurricaneum or the Luminarch of Hish and even some Elven archers. This army is easy to underestimate, but it's very powerful when it comes to shooting. The hand gunners even have stand and shoot, which means if you attack them, they can shoot. Same here for those elven 
sisters. So these three, Zinch, Caradron Overlords and Cities of Sigma, are by far the most powerful shooty armies of this game, Age of Sigma. And then there are some armies which can be made shooty. Not as strongly, but still, you can play them very artillery heavy. First of all, of course, Skaven. Skaven used to be at the beginning of the game the strongest artillery army. I think it's not anymore, but it's still very powerful. It's very fun to play because it's um, kind of these machines, they don't always work very well. And the fluff is really great because they are megalomaniac, insane war rats. The different clans and the clan scryer, for example, is very shooty. At least equally strong, the Lumineth. The Lumineth are the new high elves, the new light elves, similar to the Eldari. They have been created by the god of magic, Teclis, but they also have a unit called the Sentinels, and they're very, very, very strong. Moreover, in a few months, we will get new archers, additional archers, on funny kangaroo-like riding beasts. Next, the ogres, the ogres, yeah, kind of a half giants, and they can shoot. They're basically two different ogre factions. One of them have large cannons. They carry cannons with them and shoot all kinds of scrap metal. The famous lead belchers, and then there are the beast chlorators who tamed huge monsters and who are riding in a perpetual wintry storm. Next are the Seraphon, who are together with the Kerogen Overlords and Zinch, one of the most powerful factions presently, all in all, and who also can be transformed into a shooting army. They have divine machines on top of dinosaurs, and they have skinks who can be buffed up to dangerous shooters. Unfortunately, the chameleon skinks, who could be really good, are... So if you're into dinosaurs, that's your army. Of course, the Stormcast Eternal Sigmas, special half-divine, half-human warriors, can be made into a shooting army. Models are very expensive point-wise, so it's not so easy, but it can be done. And lastly, the Idoneth. The Idoneth Deepkin, underwater elves. Their shooting abilities have been improved recently, so they might be a shooty army. I still have to try it out. It's a beautiful army with amazing monsters. So if you are into sharks and stuff, that's your army. All armies can shoot, but to my knowledge, those are the ones that really can shoot well, that really can cause damage. All other armies, okay. Please leave it in the comments if you disagree with me, if there are any other armies you think that can shoot well and cause a lot of damage with shooting. Okay, that's it for today. There will be many more videos for beginners and people who want to migrate from 40k to AOS or who want to start it as well. This was but the first, the beginning. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing or joining me on Patreon, thank you for recommending the videos to your friends and of course leaving comments below and see you soon.